Hello everybody, we have a package. Uh, I have already opened it because yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's unpack it again. I have some presents for, for myself from ZME Zappa Chipmunk Tools. Yeah. Quite some handy for tools to test USB ports, HDMI ports and stuff and yeah. And then we also have a battery tester for MacBooks 2016 plus, I think it's to 2020 or maybe 22, I'm not sure about it. All good, we can test everything. And we have Chipmunk USB tester, we have an USB-C tester, and we have an HDMI port tester. Put this stuff aside. So, USB-C tester. Um, we have, uh, as we said, 5 volt line, the bus, and USB itself activity. Let's see what happens if we put that in there. Into a phone. Nothing. Probably we have to put it on power. Let's turn it on. This device works. And nothing. But I don't, I don't know, it's not, the intention wasn't that it's for smartphones, so just to make that clear. Oh, everything is working. Blinking, it means that we have some data communication. And red is, we have power. Um, what? Whenever activity is, yes, the 5 volt red will only light up if the VBOS voltage is correct. We have let's say 4.7 or above it will blink so no blinking good but we have some lights below or isn't that an led i can see it well it doesn't matter it works also for smartphones cool is the port okay good let's take a broken this is an interesting device. It is a, let me check that, um, it is an E959. The problem with this one is it only powers off. The three, three point, the three volt line is always present. I'm gonna show you that. I disconnected hard drive, the M.2 is outside and sometimes I have to disconnect the fan because we have a five volt power rail issue. Um, the Red light from the charging light is always blinking. That's a 3 volt line or 3.3 volt line, so I know that's okay. Sometimes I did also try to connect a hard drive, then it will not power on or it will shut off. If we connect a normal USB, it will not shut off. No fan is connected and it, then it will shut off. So, yeah, fan error and off. Connect the chipmunk. Try that again. Two red lights, all volts, all lines are active. But it's a charging port, so we won't get a communication because, oh, we get a communication. Good. Fan error, yes, I know. Good. So this port is fine. The machine also charges it, but it won't turn on, so yeah. Uh, I'm not going into details. I know the fold volt train and 3.3 wine, the okay, the power good is coming from PCH or CPU, but yeah, there may be an issue with the PCH CPU, but that's a different story. MacBook. Let's see what the MacBook is saying when we turn it on. Let's connect. We have a problem with the screen. Everything is working. Good. Can also try a different port. You may also turn it around. It does. It works. And if it's not working, it's not blinking. You can believe me. It's only blinking because power is flowing through and the resistance and the voltage is right. Also with the data line. You have to get some specification that it turns on. Good. 
chip mount USB-C tester, very handy. What's next on the list? We have a Chipmunk HDMI tester. Good. Do we have an HDMI somewhere? A console would be cool. But I don't have one. Well, actually, I have one. I have a PlayStation Slim here, but it has a... Bro Wait a minute. Okay, USB-C, all fine, all good, awesome. How do you turn a PS4 Slim on? Like that. 5 volt, okay. Power, okay. And green light data. We have one, two, three, four lights. Awesome. Uh, red is connected 5 volt, we know that. The other red one is also a 5 volt line. When it's above it will blink, yeah. 5 volt LED, 5 volt power LED. Uh, EDID LED, blue will turn on and stay on, hence the emulated EDID ROM is ready by the computer. This will be a good sign that the CPU GPU is running. Good. That's how it looks like. There it is. To turn it around, I have some customer data here. See that? Yeah, the cable is too short. I can't zoom in anymore. Yeah, that's how it looks like. Very nice. Thing. I'm going to shut off this guy. We also show the, the USB C test, so we make a close up of everyone. That's how it looks like. Good. Okay, what we have next? A normal USB tester. I need a charger. Oui. Oh, that's a broken fan, that's okay. We have two lights and a green blink. The green one says this machine will actually be able to boot. I don't know. Yeah. Good. What we have else? Phone protect. And another phone. I don't know why I have two of these. Did I order two of those? I can't remember. What does it say? This is a simple but extremely useful tool to protect your phone when charging on a dubious USB port. Which is upside down, okay, a bit annoying. We have light, so power good. This light blinks, I know. I think I know. But I can... If the voltage is correct, so... No danger. When the light is red, then the voltage is too high. Over voltage protection, also going to get red. Yeah. Let's see if anything changes if we connect the phone. Check, check. Yeah, it's okay. We're charging. It's 0 0.5 volts. That's a bit low. Am I, did I connect this wrong? Let's try to turn everything around. Well, that's not possible. Hmm. That's, that's not very accurate, so I don't know if this is the problem. Yeah, connect it to a charger. Let me see if anything blinks. Still on, still power in there. It's off. Yeah, blink screen. Very handy. Um, yeah, a lot of USB ports, strange parts and whatever. Charging, okay, very nice. So today I'm gonna show you how to open up Neck back cover. 
MacBook back cover. Who are you? I think you are you. This one should work. Yeah, looks good. So, 13 volts, and 1 amp. Everything is up. Okay, okay, we have one. We have true cycling of all the LEDs. I have one amp. Okay, turn it back off. So, I ordered this one because I have a lot of 17, 6, 7, 8 still. That's actually the most machine with which I get in. Um, yeah, so, okay. Can test it. No good battery. No good battery. <laughs> yeah, I don't know everything, I'm sorry, but we have a lot of light. As we said, we can check um, System preferences, I2C bus, SMC running, ISL running. We have two ISL versions, which can tell us if they are good. Uh, PP3G3 hot, and if it's capable of charging, and if the uh, over voltage is good. We have here another lead, LED, which we have probably go to the website for detailed information. Let's see if that changes if we rise the current so now I have 13 volts 2 amps they're working and we should probably check how high we can go but it looks like 13 volts 1 amp is enough test everything here we have another connection port to Medusa there's a Medusa port which you can probably also test the ROM. Uh, is it ROM, the ROM IC chip? Where is it? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. So uh, I think I'm gonna end this here and yeah, a lot of useful stuff which I surely will often need and I hope you enjoyed it. So let's not make that too long. If you like it, subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Goodbye.